everybody, it is Lee the Book Firefly here, and welcome back to the Haunted PS1 demo disc. Today we are playing Until Big Light. Let's see what this one's about. Oh, um, well, I know what it's about. Actually, it's a pretty long game, to be honest, but I, I like it. It's more story-driven. The credits go to, well, created by Cathorne and Brenegar, 3D art by Yevis, the Hanging Rabbit, sound design by Chris I. Brown. Lazarus audio and all copyrighted material belongs to their respective owners. The description a narrative of adventure about mice, fat cats, and the never ending quest, the cheddar. Well, let us go in and get this cheddar. Without further ado, let's play. Middle of the night, and you've just been rudely awakened. Oh, it's the middle of the night, and you've just been really awakened by your landlord demanding an extortionate amount of rent. You don't have the cheddar to cover it, so you've gone into the nearby neighborhood to search and search for jobs to scrounge up crumbs. Hey there, you're the new master around here, right? The one that does whisker deliveries. I've seen you out here, uh, out there now and then, doing deliveries just like me. Is that your side gig? Uh, no way. Oh, my friend, there's no shame in it. Uh, I can't do the heck. I'm a cog, just like you. I know you're paying all too well. The comrades out there. The everlasting chase for Chenda. So fruitless. I could use some help. What's up? I'm being evicted. <laughs> no shit, me too. Let's be friends. We're already co-workers. I hate that, though. Whisker's terrible. Just another dumb fat cat in its initiative, cooked up to follow human trends. It pays the bills. Not enough, apparently. Not like you have much of a choice. Anyway, hardly any jobs out here, much less anything higher. Damned if you do, damned more if you don't. It's nice not having to work at one of those stupid shops like Nine Lives, but I don't know how good that really is. All I do day in and day out is sprint f up and down the trail, handing richer mice food they can't afford for scraps of crumbs off the tub. I don't have to stop unless I want to, which is really good. But it's also, but also it's not like I have to go out there. No one is making me. No one cares about me out there. It's lonely. I miss camaraderie. Oh, also, I forgot. Um. Oh, <laughs> this is the wrong audio. Uh, I miss camaraderie. I had a tumble the other week while I was running a delivery. Fell down a hillside steep. Really messed me up. Bounced off some rocks on the way down. Had a hard time walking in the dock I saw. Told me it was gonna cost a good chunk of cheddar to fix me up. I don't really have much stowed away because I'm barely making crumbs anyway. You know, you can't save all that pittance. Plus, after paying up for the checkup, I could barely afford to eat. And now, I couldn't get going to make more money because my job relies on me being able to run all over the place. Real shit sandwich, let me tell you. I tried to reach out to Whisker. Tell him, you know, I was working for you guys while this happened. You know, I pulled my myself back up the trail and hobbled all the way to the end of the delivery still. Maybe they'd help f uh, front some of the costs, make me feel like they valued my work, appreciated the due diligence, and finishing out an order after that. They told me I was the one responsible for me. So, now, here I am. Got some crumbs for drinks. I slowly a little limp up and down the trail for a few more crumbs for some more drinks, and I survive. I don't feel like talking much anymore. <laughs> what a way to end a conversation. The hefty mouse behind the bar looks you up and down, their paw rapidly spinning the bottle of cloth. The uh, bolt of cloth inside the th a thimble. <laughs> Hi there. Haven't seen you around here before. Surely you didn't just wander in from the trail. 
I live around here, whatever. Yeah, you just move in. I don't get out much. Fair enough. Not a whole lot to do out here, anyway. There's something you need. Ah, just what I like to hear. A mouse motivated to work. I mean, assuming you are looking for to work for these crumbs. Just give me them. What do you need done? Well, we have a bit of a roach problem in the cellar. They're quite huge. Would probably take a skilled sword mouse to fell one. Also, I think I did try the other options. I don't think there's a big difference in what happens, or you can just reinitiate the conversation if the conversation fails, so I don't think it really matters. Uh, though I could be wrong. Maybe maybe it does have consequences. It leads to a different ending. I don't think so. So that was it. We'll see you out, but I got something more your speed. A letter that needs to be delivered. Are you familiar with Nine Lives? Uh, what's that? Really? It's the biggest chain owned by fat cats. You've definitely seen one. You've definitely seen one at some point. They're everywhere. At any rate, there's one just further down the path here. That's where you're going. Take this letter and give it to the cashier. We're going in a mysterious letter. They'll be the ones to pay you. Uh, don't listen. Send any please they come up with their rampant liar. What they do? Nothing. Deliver the letter and don't open it. Trust me, you hand that over and you'll get something nice in return. Let me know when it's taken care of. Stay safe out there. So, yeah. Let's see if uh, this guy's dialogue is different. They don't look up to you. Guess they want some solitude. Good to see you. What's it gonna be? Let's go talk to the kid at the corner shop about his tab. Simple as. Stay safe out there. on the counter, obviously young, obviously extremely bored. They don't seem to notice your approach. You wave your paw a little at them, and they come to you. Oh, uh, hi, are you buying something? Letter for you, what is this place? No thanks. They shift nervously, averting their gaze from yours. Uh, what do you mean? You hand them the mysterious letter. Look, I don't have anywhere near enough crumbs. Just a messenger. Sure, sure, but first you, then who? If they send someone actually threatening to my burrow, I mean my parents' burrow, but I mean I live there too, just not with them, you know, because they suck. <laughs> anyway, I don't think I can afford that. You gotta help me out. Yeah, what's in it for me? I'm sure we'll figure something out. Look, my friend can take care of all this. I promise. We're not, I don't really know, but they've been looking for someone helpful. Apparently I'm too gung-ho, whatever that means. Okay. Alright, so you're gonna head out of here. Take a left. You should see a real small path to the grass that'll take you to a cliff. Knowing them, there should be an old mouse staring at nothing out there. They know everything there is to know about this place. They'll know what to do about the barkeep. And I know you've got a lot of questions about all this, so I'm sure they can clue you in on what mess this place is. Here, this is note explaining everything. Just hand that over. You were giving a hastily scrolled note. I'll close up early and meet you over there when I'm done. We'll talk more about what to do. This is exciting. I'm sure you say so. It is. Today might just be the red letter day we've been waiting for if you decide to help my, my friend. Anyway, I gotta get start getting stuff put away here. Go get caught up. Good luck. Now, I think if I just decide to return early. What is this? It's nine lives, only the biggest, like, most prolific chain of stores serving mice needs. Given your needs, can be satisfied by a Mialogarchy helping on destroying mouse culture or whatever. Yeah, but you gotta say it with passion, like mouse culture. 
They're things that define who we are as members of society, our histories, our creations, our rituals. It's the big melting pot that makes us who we are. The things we cherish that they find strange and uncivilized. Mice didn't always carry pounds of cheddar around with them to afford basic needs like health care and food. We need to take care of each other. We had nothing separating us. We know that that there is no help for us but from one another. That no paw will save us if we do not reach out our paw. If there's anything to get heated it over it's this we don't have to live in a system where these dumbass cats rule over us we live without them lived without them for centuries just fine and now we're all torn apart and pitted against each other it's sickening they sigh and slouch against the counter maybe one day mouse kind will start to blame the right people you know what humans did to rulers they couldn't stand up to any the big guillotines anyways do you need something um okay Okay. Like I said, I think he eventually like closes up the shop. Up and let's see what happens if I go back to uh, the barkeep. Also, this note. And that's like the Dodola reads. The shoebox apartment's opening soon, located in the ocean, uh, in the, sorry, I thought it said ocean. Uh, outskirts, the scenic outskirts, the shoebox offers luxurious living for no affordable price. For only 5,600 cheddar cycle, you too can enjoy roomy six square inches in the hottest new craze, micro burrows. Contact us during, uh, big light to fill, fill out our application. Please note that the applications cost a half cycle's rent. Applications not guarantee you placement within the complex fee is non-refundable. Hmm. Kind of scam. Squirt. What can I do for you? What are you doing? Who are you? I have a note for you. Oh, just reminiscing. These houses are somewhat of a recent development. <laughs> if you pardon a long whisker pun, it used to be f forced up to the cliffside, you know. I miss it occasionally. You would too, Squirt. It was such a haven for our kind. Who are you? Me? I'm just an old mouse who does settle down. No one special, I assure you. I have a note for you. Oh, let me have a look. Oh, that poor young lady. Hmm, I suppose you have a lot of questions, don't you? What's going on here? A farce monument. A farce of monumental proportions squirt. The felines have swindled us time and again. But what's happening now is by far the worst swindle that they've ever wrought. What about the kid? Just tell me what's going on. The squabble between the child and the barkeep is nothing compared to what the cats have their paws in. The barkeep is only the beginning, I assure you. Do you understand how a system of control can wrap its mealy tail around a society of intelligent creatures? For the fat cat, it's, it's a simple matter of disinformation, smoke screens, and silencing any squeaks of dissonance. A concerted effort to uh, set to establish complete and utter control of how we perceive reality itself. They set their paws to creating a hyper-reality in which we find ourselves immersed, a world so doused in the muddied waters of the true and the untrue that the lines between them are inexor inor inexorable inexorably blurred until we can no longer see the water we swim in. After all, you can't know what is or isn't real. How can you make any meaningful change or fight injustice? 
How do you ever know there's problems within the system to begin with? And those who dare go against the grain find themselves quickly swatted down by the iron paw of Tolotanir. Totalitarianism. There's a reason our last attempt to overthrow our uh, feckless leader is called the Final Rebellion. It's a statement of what reality will be as much as one of what was. We've lost our chance to turn the tide. What happened? Infiltration, undermining, turning us against one another, creating insurmountable walls between us. An external group to turn a hateful eye upon stops, one from focusing on the real internal issues, a dastardly plan to blind us with our own hatred. The barkeep was just such a mouse who fell entranced by the siren song of the blame, a thought movement that placed all of the hardships of mousehood squarely on the shoulders of non-mice, including, excluding the felines, of course. Anger is far easier to harbor than love. The cats knew that, exploited to its fullest uh, what are you talking about? What do they do? Tell me, when was the last time you saw a rat? Or seen one? Isn't that a scary bedtime story? There's a reason for that, as there is for all things. One that I'm sure you understand. Originally, the oak stood above all of the woods here, a guardian high above the tree line. The fat cats would have those they called lesser beings, but the cold calculation hanged from its branches. The tree of growth, they called it. We shed the weight of their burden upon us as the society to achieve greater heights, or so they'd have you believe. The barkeep was the grim caretaker of this place, an ancient family home that they had themselves inherited. Unfortunately, the oak turned, in time, into an inn, but they couldn't keep it afloat after the ensuance of cheddar. But, with the advent of the den, no soul vanished. Oh, no soul wished to venture this far. Especially not for a fee. Desperate and low on cheddar, they turned to the oak. They turned the oak over to the fat cats when they expressed a keen interest in the location. The rats weren't the only undesirables in the eyes of the felines. One group is rarely enough to bear the brunt of such ire for long. Quickly, though, became a ha harbor for all sorts of enemies of the establishment. Any who earned their ire began to quietly disappear. For a while, the mice brought here would simply be adjusted. No one was ever quite the same when they came back. It wasn't until much later we realized that the bastards were making them infernal. That's why you have to stop them. Excuse me. You're an unknown entity here. I've seen you skulking. Getting about, trying not to be noticed. You slip in and out of the burrow like a spirit in the night. Going unnoticed seems to be a skill you've honed well. And it's something that could benefit all of the mouse kind tonight. Easily enough, you could slip into the oak, scale it, and topple the feline patriarch that hides up top, silently lording over us. His gaze never falters from this place here. The cat in the tower controls it all without raising a single paw, but they'd never see it coming. You're so meek, so modest in physical stature. After all, face it, you're the perfect mouse for the job. They've all taken so much from us. It's time we take it back. We can burn every, we can burn away the blight that has played, plagued this once great society. I just want to pay your rent. Ha, huh, rent, that's a good one. Who do you think owns all the land around here, the landlord? No, they're just a patsy. They shake you down for your cheddar. Cheddar, the go between for whenever things turn ugly. Barkeep's windfall from fat cats was more than enough to snatch up the land the felines had no interest in. Your rent won't ever be a worry again if we can take the first steps towards a new tomorrow. Why not that kid? They're too loud, too boisterous, too emotionally charged. They couldn't hold themselves together long enough to make it past the security in that oak. Not like you. I'm fine. That's the spirit. First things first, we're going to need some leverage to get the, the keys to the fortress of the oak. It may not look like much, but it's high impregnable. I have an idea. Go back to the uh, can bar. The barkeep always scurries off this time of uh, no light to meet with their superiors. Find the bar on the far side of the entrance. You'll find a false bottom in the last drawer. There, you'll find the bargaining ship. Bring it to me, and we can set in motion a new dome for Maskard. I'll head towards the bar shortly after you. I just need a few more moments first. After all, who knows how many more I'll have like this. 
where hope it springs eternal in a mouse's chest. Best not to deny an old mouse long and whisker and brittle of bone that much. Remain steadfast, squirt. Well, I didn't expect you to actually accept that. Sorry, I was eavesdropping. I finished closing the store and you were too, too or so loud. At any rate, I think they're sending you after... Well, you'll see. I've glimpsed it before. It's beautiful. What is it? I don't want to spoil the surprise. I should probably get the hell out of here before the shit hits the fan. I think you're on the verge of kicking the hornet's nest, and I don't want to be around for it. I'd rather not be collateral damage. So, I guess, I hope this isn't goodbye. Just farewell until I see you again in the big light. Hopefully we'll both stand a little taller as mice in control of their own fates for the first time in a long time. By the way, I uh, shaved a little off the top of tonight's profits when I was counting the tail. I know, I know, you're toppling the meow Lagarchi, but just in case you end up needing to pay your rent somehow, don't die up there. I don't think I really have time to talk more. You should get going too. Long time no she. Have you? Did you see the barkeep? They just just left. Oh, okay. Do you think they'd mind me sharing myself another uh, another drink from behind the bar while you're back there? You decide to bring them up to speed on what you've learned about the oak. Oh, also, I forgot to read whatever my dialogue box was asking him before this question. But, uh, yeah, whatever. You probably read it. Just pause and read whatever I was supposed to say. He decided to bring him up to speed on what you've learned about the oak. You seem they won't remember much of this anyway. Well, I'm sure how much of a Paul the Barkeep has in all all this. They are uh, they are won't to believe you regarding the rest of the tale. As you mentioned, the bargaining piece, the barfly's eyes light up. They rush to the other side of the bar, open the drawer, remove the false bottom, and set the object on the counter. The Lord of the Hundreds. The pungent odor fills your nostrils, a scent you've never experienced, uh, never before experienced. You feel your senses heighten. The barfly seems to sober up almost instantly. One of the few pieces of edible cheese still, cheese left in this world. Anything else gets pounded into cheddar immediate, cheddar immediately by the cats. Bar keeps the only one I know of who still has a piece of contraband like this. They showed me it once when they were a little drunk. Guess it's some kind of family keepsake or something, plowed down through generations of mice. Never really thought much of it until now. I guess your story does check out. Felines wouldn't let something like this slip by of them for so long without good reason. You ever wonder what cheese tasted like before we turned it to crumbs? Before we used it to trade materials, goods, and labor, what it was just when it was just a simple pleasure we enjoyed with one another. Before subjugation, they trail off into silence, drifting into their thoughts. A strange impulse fills you, snout to tail, the words echo in your mind. Why was it taken from you and your kind? Surely there'd be no harm in just... Let's try some. Oh, really? Yeah, I guess you're already pissing them off, so... Might as well taste with what our ancestors used to relish. Hope it aged well. Here. You're given a piece of the Lord of the Hundreds. As soon as it hits your tongue, you feel the room begin to shift. A strange decision overtakes your form. Your corporeal body detaches from your spirit. A higher existence comes into focus. Here within this moment, your thoughts drift to currency. What, what use is it? In the stream of motions, you feel peace. Your rent no longer looms overhead, demanding your subservience to a greater system that wishes not for your best interest, nor to care for you. The taste still lingers in your mouth, simply sublime. The ounce of cheese eating wash over you, the natural state of things, your heritage. Why have we let them take it? What is it blocking you out of the past? It certainly isn't a law of nature. There's more of us than them. We outnumber them a million to one. Why is it that we have yet to converge, to take on the upper hand? Why have we been so scared? They shouldn't take from us any longer. They can't. Not today, not anymore. They won't. Did you feel that? 
It's like something woke within me, and I don't think it's going back to sleep. You should, uh, take this. Get out of here. You're giving the Lord of the Huntress. I think I need to go lay down. That was a lot. Good luck up there. I think you might be one of the only one... I, you might be the only one who can change all of this. Mousekind deserves to be free. you're in trouble too I'd say it's definitely your problem they don't take kindly to people who can't accomplish what they need I can I can't afford that to have but I have a friend that I think can help uh, who, why do I have to why does the hired muscle have to be so dumb not like you're much muscle you got yourself involved with like the biggest criminal boss this side of the neverwood so that's a new word leaning down on the counter they urge you closer the voice goes to a whisper no, uh, no, the truth is that jerk is right in the pockets of the fat cats and helping them keep a tight grip on my mouse, on any mouse colony around. My friend told me all this stuff. They'll get you in the loop. We should even bring it up. So, they give me the directions. I think they told me this. An old mouse staring at nothing. That uh, they know everything there is to know about this place. They'll know what to do about the barkeep. And I know that you got a lot of questions. So here's a note. I'll close the early. So okay, then it just goes from there. And to see if I can just go back and tattle again. Be like, dude, this guy is trying to break your stuff. Nope, because it doesn't follow the plot. But it's cool that there's some extra interactions. I think there was one or two more dialogue pieces that I missed with that, but I'd rather not restart and do that all over again. I am fairly satisfied, so we'll roll on into the end credits now. And that's the end. Welp. Thank you for playing the demo of Until Big Light. The application will now close. But for that, what to say? Thank you all for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share with the people who you might think will like this. Um, if there's any more parts to this, I'll try to splice it in best I can. But I think that was it. Uh, but now, went through it real quick, like I said. 
Anyways, uh, support the creators of these games, and um, as usual, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.